Hi everyone, so I've never had a good strawberry daiquiri and I'm going to try and change that today by making a strawberry daiquiri. Here's what you're going to need. 250 grams of um, strawberries. I've actually already chopped the green bits off just to make life easier. You're going to need to blend them, so a blender. Uh, 150 grams of ice, you need some rum, uh, some lime and then actually more strawberries to garnish. Let's begin, shall we? The first thing you need to do is pour your strawberries into the blending thing. It's worth having two blendy cups because you're going to use one first, then you need to sort of sieve your straw. I'll get there. Basically, you have two ready. So, strawberries go in. I'm using my Nutribullet to blend it, and I'm a bit concerned that my Nutribullet is really badass, and it might just turn it a bit too sort of juicy straight away, but we'll find out. Ready. That looks good, okay. Now you're gonna to wanna to sieve it uh, and try to get rid of as many picks as you can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sieve it into my other container here. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh my God, that smells like summer. Okay, it sieves quite slowly because obviously there's lots of picks in there. But take your time with this, you know? A good drink is a marathon, not a race. It's taking much longer than I anticipated, actually. I quite like the way it's all trickling down the sides, like it's some sort of like gruesome horror film or something. This better be good, because it's taking so long. Here's a tip uh, that I'm learning as I go. When you pour in your strawberry puree to the sieve, make sure you don't go any wider than the width of the uh, thing you're pouring it into, it oh, trickles down the side as well. But I think I'm just about done here, what I'm left with in the sieve is now just pips and the thick bits. So I'm going to get rid of that and I'm also going to wipe the side of my container down because it looks gross. Strawberry puree, uh, 250 grams worth of strawberry puree. You now need to add in your 150 grams worth of ice. Like this. Half the juice of a lime. Or well, the juice of half a lime. What did I say? Half the juice of a lime? Either works, right? But you want the juice of half a lime and then you want 50 ml of white rum. So 50 ml I think is this one, yes indeed. And then we blend. Where's the lid gone? There it is. One thing I find is that when you add ice to the Nutribullet, because it spins so quickly, sometimes it pings ice to the spot and it never gets back down to the bottom again. So although it's quite well um, blended now, I can still hear ice in there, so I'm going to have another little go at it. It's blended, so get yourself your chilled glass, it's in the fridge here. This is a hurricane glass, and also, you don't have to do this bit, but I kind of want it to be smooth, so I'm actually going to pour it into my cocktail shaker and then use the strainer here to make sure that there is no other lumps in there. And let's pour. It smells amazing. Do you know what? I think I've never had a good one of these, is because I've always ordered them from. Um, Less reputable bars, and I think they use like a lot of strawberry flavoured things rather than actual strawberries. But this one looks amazing, it smells incredible. Okay, then I'm going to use uh, half a strawberry to garnish. I might even do this little thing where it goes on your glass, like this. And then I'm going to get myself a nice straw and uh, give it a go. It's actually really good. It's actually really fresh. Every uh, daiquiri I've had in the past has not felt refreshing. It's just felt a bit sugary. I like it a lot. It's really refreshing. Uh, anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you very soon. Goodbye.